Monday. OMG, it's like the best day ever. The best day ever back at the gym. The gyms have been open. I just haven't been able to go because I've had the boys home. They started school today. They were so stoked to be able to get on the bus this morning. You just have seen their faces. They were so excited. Just like mama was excited to get in the damn gym. We freaking killed full day. I wanted to lift as hard as I could. I did not go as heavy as I have in the past because it's been two weeks for me out of the gym. I didn't want to hurt myself, but I did do a hundred pounds doing the lat pull downs. I did do some higher poundage with doing the cable rope pulled lat pull downs. So I feel really good about today's workout. I feel like I'm going to be super sore tomorrow because we haven't lifted heavy in two weeks. We have been killing it at home workouts and they have been hella effective. I'm going to say you can definitely get your workout in at home. I've said that forever now here on my channel. You do not have to have a gym membership to just move your body in general and freaking get healthy that way. But I am just feeling so grateful and so blessed and having all the feels this morning. Like the entire time I was in the gym, I was just thinking about us not having power for almost two weeks, not having water for a few days. We were very, very blessed with that generator and with some other things compared to people that my, my grandparents just got power two days ago, two days ago, and it was 14 days. It's been 15 days now when I'm filming this since Ida hit. It's just crazy how everybody's affected so differently and how everybody struggled so much with this and still struggling down here, guys. It's going to be a long, long road for recovery across Southeast. Louisiana, but we are resilient, as I always say, stubborn, really, and we're going to come back with a vengeance. We always do, and I'm just very blessed that I'm in an area that did not have much devastation. My, my property around me, it definitely did, but I'm just a very, very blessed and grateful for like the little things, water, power, my family, breathing this morning, waking up, being able to move my body and go to the gym. I'm just very, very thankful for that. Don't take things for granted because you do not realize how much you take things for granted until they are taken away from you. When you can't move your body anymore, you're physically incapable of moving your body. When you lose a loved one, it, when you lose power, when you lose water, you just don't realize how much you take those things for granted and sometimes that you don't appreciate them as much as you should until they're stolen away from you, just snatched from you. So definitely cherish life for every minute that you have on this earth. You're never guaranteed tomorrow. So you wanna live life to the fullest, live it how you want to. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about anything else. Do you all day, every day. I say that all the time, but I just feel like it's so, so important to be yourself and do what you want to do and live your life the way you want it. It's just really resonated with me since all this has happened and we kind of had like a Katrina brush in our face again and just live your life guys, live your life the way that you want to live it. And keyword live your life. Almost one o'clock just now eating a lunch because we've been out and about doing all the things now that we got a little free time on our hands. So this is a pizza protein mac and cheese bowl that I meal prepped. You should have already seen that meal prep video, so go and check it out to see how I made it. And I've got a lesser evil popcorn. These are the little Halloween bags. Got these from Target, how cute. And I have one left. Like I haven't been able to find this anywhere because of all this item nonsense. Dr. Pepper cream soda zero is like one of my favorites. The cherry one too. So this meal is 663 calories. Yikes, I know. 51 carbs. But I always say you can adjust anything that I showcase here to fit within your particular macros, even make things keto friendly. Carbs are basically coming from the mac and cheese. You could omit that and this would be a total friendly keto bowl, add some type of veggie instead, or some type of keto noodle. Yes, please, pizza mac and cheese might be my new favorite lunch. That was so freaking fire. Add some mushrooms and some spinach. I didn't have that at the time because of the grocery store situation still around here. It's getting better, but man, that was next level. 11, now that we are back in school, and we have been out of commission as far as power and all the things for two weeks. Your girl's getting her house clean. So I've been cleaning our bedroom. I gotta clean our master bath tomorrow. I started, but I didn't finish. It's always like the worst for me. And then I've gotta tackle the kitchen, living room, and start decorating for fall to make this girl happy. Snack time, Alani Fit protein bar. We're doing the chocolate cake. I got these from GNC. I really like this chocolate cake one, and it's 170 as far as calories go. 
it's pretty good. It's a new flavor I tried here recently. Sargento Cheese Stick. These are the 45 calorie ones. Not a big fan of these, honestly. I like the Frigo light ones way better. Five more calories, definitely worth it. And then the Cherry Coke Zero Vanilla going through these. Six o'clock dinner time. We are doing air fried catfish. Got a bunch of catfish on hand. I am excited for it. I love catfish. If you're from the South, catfish is like the jam. I've got some regular potatoes I made in the air fryer using that potato fry cutter thing that Imogen recommended. It's life for regular potatoes. And I just sprayed a little nonstick on them. And this is my go-to. It is a garlic and herb by Kinder's. They do sell it at Sam's Club along with a whole bunch of new flavors I saw the other day. And I'm almost out, so I'm gonna stock up on that. And then I just killed the rest of this GHU sugar-free ketchup. So everything on this plate is 468 calories and 38 net carbs. 817, we don't skip dessert. We've got two of these caramel mocha protein donuts. I'm gonna be eating these for breakfast as well, but I'm not gonna be eating them enough for breakfast, so I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm gonna have them for dessert too, so we do not waste a single drop. Cannot wait to try them for the first time. And a half a serving, which is, uh, not half a serving, a half a pint of the Nick's Salted Caramel. This is one of my favorites. However, when I go to divide it up, it never like equals out as far as the measurements go with these ice creams. So I just eyeballed it and did the math as best as I could. That's probably more than a serving, and then next time will be less than a serving, but it didn't even add up to the right uh, number, if that makes sense, all that blabber. 308 calories and 11 net carbs here for this. That was bomb. Not gonna lie, the protein donuts, a little bit dry. I think I overcooked them, but you know, with baking with protein, it is an exact science, and you just gotta learn every time you make something. Don't give up on it, try it again. Today's macros, we did 244 grams of protein, 63 grams of fat, 2,193 calories, 110 calories left, that's okay. I'm full, I'm satisfied. I don't need to like push the calories in, if that makes sense. And 132 net carbs for 191 total to wrap out our Monday with crazy kids in the background, first day of school, getting back to a regular life. I am all about it. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick, we ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got is a quick change, so we like them in face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. number one of two y'all know I'm doing two leg days a week now like who is she I really do think it is helping though with the lower body game I want to focus on the lower half and build that up get those gains in that area when doing this high protein lifestyle and just keep on moving on and today was an awesome session I'm just feeling so grateful and so good to be back in the gym it is crazy raining today because more freaking tropical weather like what the actual hell freaking tropical storm or hurricane whatever the hell it is Nicholas damn you Nicholas is bringing all this like it came over Texas but Texas didn't get ish nothing like Louisiana is getting everything like what Louisiana we need a break what is going on getting all this weather today we're supposed to get like eight to ten inches of rain I don't even know something stupid but at least we don't have the wind factor with it uh, the hubby went and got gas just in case if we needed to put the generator on I mean I am done with the generator PTSD with the hurricane crap like I need I need a break we like just got a break yesterday and then boom we're getting hit with it again like I can't even right now this morning we had the overnight 
uh, oatmeal cookie protein oats, overnight oats. And I will say, I still like the coffee better, but they were good. They didn't taste like oatmeal cookie though. I can't explain it. I think they would be better with like real maple syrup versus the tablespoon of the Walden Farms. I think that's why your girl likes the coffee one so much because there's real maple sugar uh, syrup in there. But we'll try it differently next time. That will up the macros on it though. And the macros are already pretty high on it already because of the raisin factor in there. But it was really good, super creamy, and I really enjoyed it. Those caramel mocha donuts, y'all blow me up on Instagram about them. I've got to tweak those too. They taste fire and they taste great with coffee. Like you need some kind of liquid with it because they are dry, I'm not gonna lie. I think the protein powder are, some things aren't, some things are. They taste great though. They, the chocolate taste on them are next level, but they are just hella dry. So you definitely need uh, to pair it with some coffee to whoosh it back. With all this rain, we have cleaning to do every single day this week since we've been on hurricane quarantine, messy with the kids and locked up in the house for two weeks. We've got lots of cleaning to do and I've got lots of things on my plate to try to play catch up, but we are still showing up doing the damn thing and following through guys. Are you showing up each and every day? A little bit of work each day will add up in the long run. So many people are like, oh my gosh, I'm not seeing progress. I'm not seeing gains. I know this is a society where we want everything given to us instantaneously gratification. But when it comes to your weight loss, when it comes to building muscle, you just have to put the work in each and every day and be Patient. It's when you're impatient and you slip up, binge, do all these things, that's when you're reversing progress. But if you put in the work each and every day and just be patient, be patient, take pictures, you will see the progress. I assure you. 12.30, got that master freaking bathroom clean. Thank you, Jesus, because I hate cleaning that thing. We got dinner going over here in the crock pot if you're wondering what that is. But we got a big ass salad for lunch and I am so beyond hungry. We've got the chicken of the sea, ahi yellowfin tuna. Y'all know I love these from Walmart. This was my last one I had in the pantry. I'm trying to go through as much as I can what, with what we have on hand without buying stuff and, you know, the girls hoarding with the grocery stuff. We've got the egg over here that I made with my little silicone poacher maker. We've got gorgonzola cheese in there, some bacon pieces, cucumber, lettuce. That's it. Salt and pepper. I'm going to add three tablespoons of the Bold House Farms cilantro avocado dressing. That stuff is fire. I've got a serving, which is 28 grams of the lesser evil. Oh my ghee popcorn back there. Very vanilla Coke zero. And this is 554 calories, 20 net carbs. All the carbs basically are coming from the popcorn. It legit takes forever to eat all that freaking salad. Those high volume meals look 30 minutes to eat, but man, so good. Like you can't go wrong with just a big old pile of lettuce with all kinds of goodies inside. 308, I've been cleaning like a crazy person. Look at these steps, y'all. Look at these steps just from walking around the damn house because you forget stuff and you gotta go back and walk back again. Yeah, like almost 12,000 steps already. It's ridiculous. Cleaning your house, y'all, get you a workout and an excuse to clean at the same time got our snack on repeat. It is the pumpkin spice Cheerios. I'm loving 44 grams and the premier protein pumpkin spice. Again, not really fond of this flavor. It doesn't really taste like pumpkin spice. I won't buy it again, but I have them. I'm going to use them up. Why not get that protein in? 333 calories, 34 net carb. I realized that I totally forgot to do my electrolytes yesterday, which is a big no-no for me. So I'm making sure I'm getting them in. I already drank the over half gallon of my hydro jug. So that is good. We're doing the pina colada. I've been on that kick with the Redmond's Relight. They've got a ton of new flavors like strawberry lemonade, mango something. I've got them on the way. I cannot wait to try them. Definitely check out their website. In Burgess gets you a discount with all things Redmond's. Just got in my shaker cup with some water. Six o'clock dinner time. We're doing something brand new and something I'm super excited about. So I purchased Elise Ellis on Instagram. Kim from the Wads made me do it. I'm going to blame it on her. She does a monthly meal plan. Elise does with uh, pretty close to anabolic recipes. They're very high in protein, macro friendly, really awesome. Everything's already plugged in my fitness pal if you used it. So that's a win too. If you're a my fitness pal user, these are her baked beef taco cups. But instead of doing baked beef, I did my slow cooker barbecue turkey loin and I have it already weighed up and, you know, divided out all measured up good. And I just tweaked it. So I just did it with the turkey instead of the beef and all the other things and added my own toppings. This is the 
those black lentils I got from Whole Foods on a clearance like way back when. I had some in the pantry trying to use them up. Everything you see here, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but these little taco cups are filled to the max. Like that's one serving of the turkey, which is a lot. 660 calories, 61 net carbs. I know all the net carbs coming from the tortillas and from the beans, but I'm here for it. But she has some really awesome recipes that I'm going to be making here in the future. And I cannot wait to try them out. Yes, please. Super good, super filling. Next time what I would do is put them in the cupcake liners first and bake them and get them crispy, then add my filling, then put them back in the oven just to melt the cheese because the outsides were crispy, but the bottom was soggy. But other than that, spot on bomb. Almost eight o'clock, never skip dessert. I went to go put the donuts outside and as you can see, there's a bite taken out of it. That would be Trey, little rascal. The kids like the coffee uh, donuts, even though they're a little dry. I did heat it up in the microwave tonight to see if that helps, so stay tuned. I'll update you guys. And I am gonna eat the other half of this NYX salted caramel. So 214 calories, seven net carbs, a little bit less because of that bite, but it's all good. So today's macros, we did 218 grams of protein, 66 grams of fat, 2,265 calories, 165 net carbs for 243 total to get ready for hump day. Just a little tip, microwaving the donut did not make it any more moist. Like I said, they're bomb tasting. Maybe I should have used a different type of protein powder versus the coffee one. I don't know. So why I coming down? So no I ever coming down. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got this a quick change, so we like them in face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist rain. The zero of gravity keeps elevating me. freaking fire from that push day so I felt this sounds crazy but I felt weak but I also felt hella fierce because we have not been in the gym in two weeks as y'all know and chest as y'all know I mention all the time is my weakest area going on the smith machine today doing the chest press and also doing the upright rows I went lower on poundage than I did two weeks ago just because it felt so heavy today and I want to make sure I'm doing the proper form that's most important rather than like trying to strain lifting up the weights and you're not even doing the proper form that means you're not working the muscle group properly anyways did a lot of tricep exercises exercises today. I did not do the tricep dips. I was like, it's been two weeks and last time, you know, we had a lot of work we needed to do on it. So I'm trying to get the tricep strength back and then I'm going to try the dips again. But I did some sheen work today and some cable work with the triceps and we went up on the poundage on those and it felt good. So I did the incline walking as y'all saw. Lots of machine work I didn't film for y'all, but just felt really, really good. And I'm just feeling so beast back in the gym. That's like my happy place, lifting heavy, getting strong, not skinny. I've been looking at some old pictures from last summer. Wow, what a difference we've made in a year's time as far as muscle gain and whole rebody composition since the beginning of my keto journey since last year. Yes, looking at those pictures from last year, now I'm like, whoa, I was way too thin. I was not, you know, strong <laughs> as far as like my composition of my body. And I just know where my happy place now is with my height, with my weight, where I need to be as far as how I feel comfortable 
with my overall body physique and that's just a really good place to be because it takes a long time to get there I have been overweight most of my life I mention that all the time if you're new 230 pounds was my max before I lost the initial 85 pounds doing kind of like a Weight Watchers low carb style I've mentioned that before and then keto almost three years ago and then just now working on my strength training we have a long way to go don't get me wrong but every day that you show up and that you put in that work you are making a change for your overall health and you're making a change in your body composition you may not see it now you may not see it tomorrow you may not see it a month from now take the pictures take the measurements they tell the story the scale does not tell the story so I weighed before Hurricane Ida I'm going to weigh in a couple of weeks to make sure these are my maintenance calories and I'm gonna let y'all know what I weighed from Ida to the low carb cut and the difference in my body composition but what the scale is telling me is like mind blowing y'all it's so mind blowing so you cannot get hung up on that scale make sure that you are taking the pictures how you feel in your body is most important how you feel overall is important as well because if you're feeling like total ish but you're like the scale the number is where you want what's the point what is the point? And you know what? There is no like book that says there is, there's a BMI scale, but it's total garbage. Nothing that tells you that you, you specifically, Nicole Burgess, are you out there should be this freaking weight to be the overall healthy. Like the BMI scale is just a group thing. It, it means nothing. It means nothing y'all. So don't let numbers get in your head. Get it out of there. Just show up every day, move your body, and eat healthy foods, and you are winning at life. 12.30, home from the gym and running errands. It is lunchtime, so I've got some meal prep going on. We've got another one of the protein pizza mac and cheeses that I loved so much on Monday here for it, and no popcorn with it today. Cherry Vanilla Coke Zero. 578 calories, 46 net carbs. That reduced guilt mac and cheese from Trader Joe's is a must, not really to eat on its own, but to throw together for bowls. It's so quick and convenient, 270 calories, and I think it's like 15 grams of protein. So you're getting basically all the carbs from the mac and cheese. Everything else is keto friendly. Hands down, my favorite lunch right now. So flipping good. If you love mac and cheese and you love pizza, I mean, it's a marriage in heaven. Definitely got to get some more from Trader Joe's when I go do my next haul. Hopefully they have them because the grocery stores are still not right around here. About to go in with my snack, but we just got some mail. Yes, please. These are the fall flavors of the American Dream Nut Butter. Still available on their website, by the way. They will lock these up, though. So if you want to try them, and Burgess always gets you that discount. I cannot wait to try this one tomorrow and I have some big plans in mind but um shut up American Dream Nut Butters like this might be my favorite of all time three o'clock snack time we are doing snack on repeat pumpkin spice Cheerios 50 grams instead of doing the shake by Premier I'm doing this I've done it before so it is 14 ounces of almond milk you can do more or less one scoop of the cake pop protein powder by PE Science. I just whisk it up. You could put this in a shaker and pour it over your cereal as well. It doesn't matter. 370 calories, 39 net carbs. I mean, either way, this way or the Premier way is bomb. If you don't want to spend the money on the Premier and you already have the PE Science, if you've invested, do it this way. If you want to try the PE Science because you haven't yet and I have them for all kinds of recipes, 10 off 30, linked in the description box. 508, boys acting crazy in the background, getting their dinner ready. We are doing our electrolytes, not forgetting pina colada has been my kick this week. It's clock dinner time, would have been a little bit earlier, but I'm getting no service at all. I'm relying on this freaking cell phone service, using it as a hotspot, and some days we get like no cell phone service with all the craziness that's going on still. It's working right now though, so I was able to get in my car manager and see what the hell I was eating. So we're having spaghetti today. I've got the Thrive Noodle Wonder Noodle. It's got a whole package. It's a spaghetti. It's 20 calories for the entire package. You rinse these, you pan fry them with some seasoning, and they are really good. I enjoy them. The Classico Roasted Pasta Sauce is what I'm doing. I have 180 grams. I've got a little bit of shaved Parmesan cheese on top, and that is it. Ground venison for the beef. We've got some canned green beans because they don't have frozen right now where I'm at because of Ida, so the no salt added. And I don't have, I have a little bit over a half a cup, so it's like 17 calories. We have it seasoned with the Kinder's garlic and herb. Love that stuff. And then for my garlic bread, my anabolic garlic bread, it's just the Keto Life 
bread from nature's own and then i have a garlic and cow cheese on top with a little bit of parsley toasted in the toaster it's good it's going to get you that garlic bread fix you can put a little bit more garlic powder on there if you want to really spice it up this huge whopping plate is 480 calories can y'all believe this is less than like a thousand calories 480 and 19 net carbs. Let's go. So simple, so tasty, low calorie, high volume. 742 dessert time. So we have a built bar. This is the new apple almond crisp flavor. I haven't tried it before. This one is 160 calories and a little bit higher protein with 18. And then y'all saw me get the new nut butters in. So I'm going to try out the big apple. I just taste it by itself and it's really good. I really like their almond butters and their cashew butters. 274 calories and nine net carbs. Y'all have been wanting my thoughts on the fall line. This is the only one I've tried so far. I'm going to try the other one tomorrow, but I'm not going to film it. So definitely follow me on IG and I know I'll film in the vlogs for y'all in the future, but this one, I don't know how I feel about it. Like it's good, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I'm like always expecting knock your socks off like apple flavor. Cause apple is like one of my favorite flavors. And when it doesn't live up to that hype, I'm a little bit disappointed. It's good. You know, your girl's going to eat it but it's not one of my favorites that I've tried from him. That Dunka Spoon is hands down like one of the tops and so is the How You Brew and Coffee win is a must as well. But this one, I'll eat it, but I wouldn't recommend you buying this one with all the ones to choose from, but we've got the pumpkin cheesecake and all the other yummy ones I need to try. Today's macros, we did 251 grams of protein, 58 grams of fat, 2,226 calories, 133 net carbs for 180 total carbs to wrap out our Wednesday halfway through the week. Tomorrow is a rest day for this girl. Saturday, Nicole coming to you. I did not film Thursday or Friday thinking I was going to have to use my hotspot again and the videos have been 30 minutes with three days. However, I got my internet back yesterday afternoon. Did a little happy dance over on the gram. So excited because this hotspot nonsense has been taking forever to do any work. I need it for my coaching. I need it for videos to be able to do content and now we have it back. So when your job relies on internet that is so crazy that we have jobs now that rely on that right it is very crucial to get it back so we got it back after 20 days let's go this was a great week back in the gym I know I stressed it many times every single day in the vlog but I just felt so good getting back in there that's definitely my happy place my happy place right now is just lifting heavy and getting as much gains as possible I think with us doing the maintenance calories high protein it's really getting me to where I want to be with my my physical goals, everybody's goals are different. Some people might want to look like this. Some people might want to look hella muscular. It's all in what you feel most comfortable with in your body and you striving out to set and reach and obtain those goals. Don't let anybody sway you because of what society thinks that we should be as far as a scale number goes, how we should look. You do what you want to do. However you want to dress, however you want your body to look, do you. Life is too short to worry about what the hell someone else thinks couple of fun things coming up on Tuesday. So if you're watching on Monday, tomorrow, Built Bar is launching chocolate chip cookie dough bars. Now, apparently I haven't been a part of the awesome game, but apparently they're the OG of the flavors. And every time it comes back, everybody like sells out and buys all they have because it's like the best flavor according to everybody. They've been blowing up their IG about bringing it back. They're bringing it back for a limited time. So make sure to use in Burgess gets you a discount and stock up on those. I'm going to be doing the same thing as well. I cannot wait to try them because like I said, from what I hear, they're the goat of the built bars. I don't know. We got to try them, right? Also the American Dream Nut Butters. The one that I like the best is the basic B one. I still got to try the honey one. I think I'm going to like that one, but I was disappointed in the pumpkin cheesecake as well. Y'all know I love pumpkin stuff. It is powerful in pumpkin flavor, but there's just something weird and off about it. I don't know. I can't place my finger on it and I want to be as 100% with you guys on these things because all this stuff adds up right I, look I'm buying it too I'm using my own codes and buying it too I know it adds up so if I can help you buy the best and save your money for the best and not have anything just wasted away and wasted money I'm all about that life so get the basic B one so far. I got to try the honey one left. So I hope y'all had an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was motivational, inspirational, all the things. Just know that you can do it, guys. C-A-N is the word. C-A-N-T is never a part of our vocabulary. It shouldn't. And you just have to keep pushing each day. Every day that you put in that work, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you are making progress. Even if you don't see it right now, just be 
patient. This is a long run. This isn't a quick fix. If you're looking for a quick fix, it might get you there quickly, but then right after you're going to quickly be back where you were from square one. I guarantee you, I did it a million times prior to my long-term health journey. And I can tell you that those quick fixes are just that temporary fixes. And then you go back to your old ways plus some. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for the love and support always here. Make sure to go check out some of my other videos. I posted almost every single day last week with using that hotspot. So go and show those videos some love. Please, please. I got so many new things coming now that I've got some real internet and we will see y'all in next week's weekly vlog. And it will be a little bit longer for my ones that love the long ones. Y'all kill it out there and we'll see you then. Bye.